Hall nurse and I. You add to what do we know and what we mean, even if with respect to what you have found out. Yeah, I'd like to uh, expand on what Bob and Lenny were saying with respect to caloric restriction. One of the striking things about caloric restriction as studied in laboratory mice and rats is that it has the ability to oppose the development of a broad spectrum of diseases, whether it's diabetes, diverse cancers, uh, autoimmune diseases, and so forth. So it's not uh, just picking off one kind of disease at a time, but it's actually keeping these animals healthier, longer, and they're biologically younger for a longer period of time. And the importance here is that it provides the most uh, robust model to dissect and understand the biology of decelerated aging. And uh, the, uh, as Lenny indicated, things are moving fast, and uh, it's a really exciting time. monkeys and what they're telling you. So we have a study in rhesus monkeys. They have an average lifespan normally of about 27 years and a maximum lifespan of 40 years. Uh, the animals were uh, subjected uh, to caloric restrictions in a 1989 at about 10 years of age. Now, what do you mean by caloric restrictions in a this A 30 percent reduction of calorie intake gradually imposed and the, the uh, reduction was based on each individual animals uh, baseline intake you know some are big eaters some are not so big eaters so it was tailored to each individual animal and of course there's a control group we added additional uh, animals in uh, 1994 but basically uh, the animals have in the oldest group are uh, about 25 to 32 years of age now and looking at the total mortality of our population which initially was 78 uh, animals half on the restricted diet and half controls, uh, we're starting to see a, a survival advantage for the monkeys on caloric restriction. We're also seeing uh, visual evidence that they're aging at a slower rate. They, they basically look better. We've seen a complete protection against uh, type 2 diabetes in our restricted animals, whereas it typically uh, afflicts about 40 percent of the control population. With the calor those that are, that are having a 30 percent reduction in caloric intake, there's no diabetes? No diabetes. They're, they're, caloric restriction is an opposite state of diabetes. Uh, diabetes, then you have high circulating glucose and insulin, and the insulin doesn't work very well. It's just the opposite with caloric restriction. We've also observed, uh, uh, to date, a uh, reduction in uh, tumor incidence in the monkeys on caloric restriction with colon cancer being the uh, predominant uh, tumor. So the animals uh, are reduced in calorie intake as we just said by 30 percent but strikingly their body fat is down by 70 percent mm -hmm. and uh, work we've done in mice uh, would also suggest that there are fundamental changes in the uh, uh, body fat in the calorie restricted animals in a biological sense and the uh, links between obesity and disease, uh, a very hot area now concerns uh, pro-inflammation factors released from adipose tissue. And when we've looked at adipose tissue in mice and done uh, analysis of the expression of thousands of genes, we see that one of the largest classes of genes that's affected by caloric restriction in adipose tissue is a down uh, down regulation or lowered expression of 55 genes that are involved in inflammation and we think uh, that this may be very important in opposing the broad spectrum of diseases that caloric restriction does.